How did you get interested in grammar? Well, I became interested in grammar and linguistics when I was in high school. As a first year high school student, I started to learn Spanish and I was really bad at it. I kept getting low scores on my tests and I couldn't figure out why. And one day, all of a sudden, everything just clicked. I realized why I should use one verb form instead of another. After that point, I started to notice lots of patterns in the language that I was learning. I discovered that I loved making sense of the systematic patterns that make up a language. Then, in my last year of high school Spanish, I got to choose a final project, anything related to the Spanish language. And I decided to write a grammar of Spanish. Now, I was no expert on the grammar of Spanish at that point, and so it wasn't a very good grammar. But that project reinforced my interest in puzzling out language structure and being able to describe systematic language patterns. And so I went on to college to study linguistics. In graduate school, I started to teach ESL grammar and ESL writing, and later courses in grammatical analysis. These experiences made me realize that I really enjoyed helping others to not only recognize the underlying structure of a language, but also to be able to explain it. And the more courses I taught, the more I realized that every language user can connect to grammar in some way. Everyone uses grammar, and I could help them build a conscious awareness of that grammar. I could help them explain the grammar they use, make conscious choices about the grammar they use, and know how to deal with the grammar they encounter. Have you ever met anyone that decided to write a grammar? Well, Professor Gray did. And this is what made her interested in the structure of language. When Professor Gray said she wrote a grammar, she meant that she discovered the systematic patterns of the language, how words and larger structures combine to create meaning. That is, she identified patterns in the language. For example, you can see patterns in English in examples like this. I wanted some cookies. The bakery had sold all the cookies. I bought a chocolate cake. When we look for patterns, we need to find some things that are the same in all the sentences. First, we can see that they all have a verb, a word that refers to activities of wanting, selling, and buying. Second, each verb has an actor or an agent who does the activity. I want, the bakery sells, and I buy. Third, each sentence has something, a noun, that receives the action. I want some cookies. The bakery sells the cookies. I buy a cake. So the basic pattern is agent, verb, Noun. That description for those three sentences is the start of the grammar. It's obviously a simple grammar. It doesn't even account for all of the words in all of those sentences, but it shows what we mean by writing a grammar. It might also show why Professor Gray thought that writing a grammar was fun when she was in high school.